visit pianohooks.com for full lessons and the Piano Hooks Patreon page for more advanced tutorials. For now, here's the simple version. For the song Happy Days by Blink-182, we're going to learn the chorus in four parts. First thing we want to do is make sure we're sitting in the middle of the keyboard. The exact center of this 88 key keyboard is the space in between a group of three black keys and a group of two black keys. My right hand is going to start off by playing the top black key of a group of two black keys. For the left hand, I'm going to find an even lower group of two black keys and start off by playing the white key just to the right of a group of three black keys, just below. Part one goes like this. Once we have found our hand positions, right hand starts on a black key, left hand starts on a white key, both hands go together, right hand steps up to the nearest white key, and then to the nearest black key, and then we repeat that. Low black key, middle white key, and upper black key. So we are playing these three keys for part one in the right hand. Let's try that again. Hands together. Step up to a white key. Step up to the nearest black key. And repeat that. And now, once we're holding this, to finish off, the left hand steps down to play the nearest black key. Okay, and again. Hands together, black key in the right hand, white key, black key, do it again. And then the left hand finishes by stepping down to the nearest black key. Now we want to make sure that we have the correct rhythm. So we get our hands ready here again, and let's just focus on the right hand. It's going to go short, short, long, short, short, long, and then the left hand steps down. And one more time, a little bit faster. Short, short, long, short, short, long, left hand moves. Now, even though we were focusing on the right hand, we should always be playing hands together so we don't forget what that lower sound actually sounds like with the right hand. For part two, our hand position is going to start off exactly the same as we did in part one. And part two goes like this. So for part two, we also have this rising pattern of black key, white key, black key. So the top black key of a group of two, then the white key just to the right of it, and then we play the black key to the left of a group of three black keys. 
So hands go together, right hand steps up, steps up again, then we repeat that. And now when we play this top black key, the left hand steps up to play the bottom black key of a group of two black keys. It sounds a little bit off, but it's correct, trust me. Now, the right hand drops down to play this top black key of the group of two, and the left hand plays a copycat key of it. And then when we play them together, the right hand plays four times. So let's try that. One, two, three, four. Okay, so to make this easier, just remember that the right hand does that pattern twice, just like it did in part one. So let's do that from the start. Step up, step up, do it again, up. Now when we go up to this top black key, the left hand goes up as well. So we have two black keys together. Now both hands are going to move in towards each other to play copycat keys. And the right hand plays four times. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's try to get the right rhythm here. Again, the left hand does a lot of holding, so we don't really have to think about it, we just play it. And the right hand, we have to focus on the proper rhythm. So hands together, short, short, long, short, short, left hand moves, long, both hands move in together, right hand goes short, 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 short. Okay, and again, short, short, long, short, short, both hands move up, long, now both hands move in together, short, 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 short. Let's review parts one and two. So we have our starting position for part one. We go short, short, long, short, short, long, left hand steps down. Now we have part two, which is very similar. Short, short, long, short, short, both hands move, long, both hands move in together now. Short, 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 short. And one more time. Short, short, long, short, short, long, left hand steps down, back up. Short, short, long, short, short, long, short, 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 short. Let's try it a little bit faster now from part one. Short, short, long, short, short, long, left hand steps down, and again, short, short, long, short, short, both hands move, short, 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 short. Focus on getting that kind of a speed, and the actual song goes even faster than that, so you'll have to work your way up to that speed. What song should I do next? Leave a comment below. In part two, we left off playing the two black keys here, the tops of the groups of two. All we do is step up to play the white keys, just to the right of those two black keys. So part three goes like this. Once we have our hands in the proper position, both hands go together, right hand steps down to the nearest black key, then it jumps down to play the white key just to the right of a group of three black keys, 
and then goes to the middle black key in that group of three and comes back. So we ended up playing one, two, three, four keys in the right hand. We have white, black, white, black. Bit of a pattern here. The way I remember this shape is it looks like a V. So we have this V shape and then at the very top we come down. Almost like you're drawing a V and then you're adding a little fancy end to it. Okay, so hands together here. Let's try this. Right hand, white key, black key, white key, black key, and back up. And now just to finish off, the left hand steps down to play the nearest black key. One more time, both hands together, right hand steps down to a black key, jumps down to a white key, jumps down to a black key, and comes back up. And then the left hand finishes by stepping down to the nearest black key. Now let's focus on the proper rhythm. So when both hands go together, the right hand goes short, long, long, short, long, and the right hand steps down. We are going to add one more piece to the right hand at the end. So both hands go together, short, long, long, short, long. Now when the left hand steps down to play this top black key, the right hand's going to jump up and play that top black key as well. So they're playing copycat keys. And just like in part two, the right hand is going to repeat that four times. One, two, three, four. Let's try that again. Short, long, long, short, long. Now both hands move away from each other. Short, 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 short. Let's review parts one, two, and three. Starting position of part one. So we have short, short, long, short, short, long. Left hand steps down. Part two is similar. Short, short, long, short, short, left hand moves, long. Now both hands move in together. Short, 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 short. Now we start part three. Short, long, long, short, long. And just like the end of part two, both hands play these copycat keys and the right hand repeats four times. Short, 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 short. Okay, let's try all of that again from part one. Here we go. Short, short, long, short, short, long. Left hand steps down. Part two, short, short, long, short, short, long, hands together, short, 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 step up, short, long, long, short, long, both hands move apart, short, 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 and let's add part four now. Just like part three, part four starts on the white keys just to the right of the groups of two black keys. Both hands go together. Right hand steps down, just like in part three. Jumps down, drops down to the black key, and comes back to the middle. Exactly like part three, the only difference is the left hand finishes by coming up to this nearest black key. Let's focus on the proper rhythm now. So we have short, long, long, short, long, and then the left hand comes up for the finish. 
And one more time. Short, long, long, short, long, left hand. From here, you can simply go back to part one and cycle these four parts to play the entire chorus. Let's review all four parts now. So we find our starting positions here and the focus should be the rhythm because if we don't play the right rhythm, people won't know what song we're playing. So hands together, short, short, long, short, short, long, left hand steps down. Part two, short, short, long, short, short, both hands move, long, both hands move, short, 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 both hands step up for part three. Short, long, long, short, long, both hands move, short, 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 long, long, short, long, left hand steps up. And one more time, a little bit slower, and then see if you can play along with the final play along section. Short, short, long, short, short, long, left hand, short, short, long, short, short, long, short, 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 long, long, short, long, both hands move, short, 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 long, long, short, long, left hand steps up. Take your playing to the next level, become a member at pianohooks.com. And if you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe.